Hey, what's up guys? It is 5.03 p.m. Um, today's been an interesting day to say the least. I just went out to, uh, to Walmart and got some washer fluid, which is over there because I am very sick of looking at that washer fluid low. So I got some of that Rain-X, the two-in-one de-icer slash Rain-X washer fluid. So three bucks, not too bad, not too bad for car maintenance. Uh, what else? Oh, cue intro. Alright, so I remember waking up this morning at like 11.30ish and not remembering why I woke up. I think I heard the front door open or something. And then I uh, kind of fell back asleep until 12.34. Um, the first thing I did was, when I woke up, was I went, you know, I do what I always do. I went through my emails, I had like 40 some overnight, so I read through those. And then I got to my order confirmation from, uh, from Acer, you know, the new powerhouse. Um, and I checked the tracking number on that last night. I looked at it last night, technically like 3 o'clock this morning on February 1st. And it said that it was in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, from Shanghai. So uh, I thought, well, it looks like their estimated delivery date of Monday looks like it will actually be Monday the 4th. So I went to bed. And then I, when I checked it this morning, you know when you check a tracking number, there's that little bar, and it goes over like in transit, and then the last one's delivered? Well, it went halfway over between the 3rd and the 4th to deliver, and it was red. And I looked at it, and it said, customer not available. And I thought, well, that's impossible. It was in Memphis last night. How would they get it up to Cleveland? They go to Cleveland, Ohio, then Akron, which is, I'm pretty much equidistance between the two cities goes down to Akron, how would they have tried to deliver it? So I go downstairs, and lo and behold, stuck on the front door is the little FedEx, sorry we missed you thing. So I called FedEx and said, can I pick this thing up in your store or wherever, in your depot? And they said, no, the driver doesn't get back until 7.30 and we close at 7.30, you can't get it. I'm like, shit, all right, we'll have to wait till Monday. Well, then I said to myself, I can do better than that. We can do better than that. So I called again. I got this guy named Josh from FedEx. Nice guy. I really appreciate the service. He told me if I go down to the distribution center, E39, 525. If I go down to the distribution center um, by 7 and tell him why I'm there, hopefully I'll be able to get it. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. It's 5. So I should be leaving in about an hour. I'm going to go home, do the washer fluid, do a couple things on the Mac, start getting data off that. Um, and hopefully we'll have that tonight. Oh, good song. You guys know this song? We're on WZAK, the Michael Bayston Show. Oh, we're at the fun intersection of 91 and 303, which is always a mess, but it's actually not too bad for 5 o'clock on a Friday night. Um, I don't really have anything else to say right now, so I'll try not to, to talk and waste time. Yeah, they got up to, to $202,479 in the Indiegogo campaign. Friggin' rights, way to go, Shay. Well done. Today, I have seen Ohio, West Virginia, Virginia, Pennsylvania, and Michigan plates all around town and stow to get washer fluid. Go figure. Beautiful 16 degrees and the roads are dry but very salty. Oh boy, check out Mr. Toyota here. His trunk lid is flapping in the breeze here. Doesn't look like they have anything in there that is so large it requires the lid being open. So he's either got a broken latch or he's having a bad day and forgot to close his trunk. Now we got Buddy cocking up the road here. Time Warner Cable, bastards! Well, unsurprisingly, she took the entire thing, all one gallon, 3.8 liters of it, and it's still not full. That's typical. 6.22 p.m. on the way to downtown Akron, Firestone Road and South Main Street, I think. Uh, I'm taking Route 8 South, 303 in Hudson, the Route 77, and I think I get off at Firestone or something like that. So, a little further south than I usually go. I'm usually getting off at Perkins Street for downtown Akron, or the next one for the University of Akron, but uh, 16 degrees, it's dropping, so it's, uh, I should be there soon. I should be there soon. I'll keep you up to date. All right, guys, I just sat in the FedEx office for about uh, an hour, about an hour, sat in there, talked to Bobby, talked to Colt, talked to Kenan, played Tetris. Turn left onto East Wilgeth Road. East Wilgeth Road, half a mile. I'm on my way home now, I got what I wanted. Got the Acer, so I'm gonna head home now. I, I, I was thinking about this, you know? I. It's been a while since I've talked tech. I've been talking blower motors and horsepower and torque and E39s for the last couple years. It's been a while since I've talked cold hard specs and done unboxing videos and stuff like that. So I, I don't know if I'm gonna do one. You know, I, I think I'm going into a house where my sister has a bunch of friends over and uh, it'll be hard for me to, to film something of that nature. So I may not uh, for the tech channel. You know, that's not my forte anymore. I do car videos now and 
they're definitely more, they're more better. So, you know, watch the vlogs if you want to see the new Acer. There she be, sitting on the passenger seat. It's 17 degrees at 745. I'm making a left on Wilbeth Road, which is just a horrible name. Turn left for I-77 North toward Cleveland. 77 North, which will turn into 8. Get off at 303 and go home. I should be there in about 30 minutes. Down my street comes a car. Who would it be? What would it be? We'll see. All right, here we go. It's an Oxford Green BMW 525 with somebody we know behind the wheel. Hold on, we can't see anything. I'm gonna turn the light on here real quick. Let's get some lights on. Lights are on, it's shortly after 12. In fact, it's almost one. Look Hi. who's here, Bobby's here. Where Bobby's at, he made it all the way from Joyzy. And the 5 Series is here, the 525, that you guys have seen on uh, E39 source. Looks like it's open. We're going to take a quick look in here, see what we find. Your doors feel even heavier than mine. They're stiffer on their hinges. Got the uh, friggin' tan interior. Don't want to sit on your whereabouts. Let's see. Oh, you need your winter mats in here. Ah. Looks nice. No, all the car. I like what oh I see. God. Oh, how it is good to be back to a Macintosh. It's not an Acer, you probably guessed. It's one of these little things. Look at that. Friggin' right. Where Bobby's at, still here? Hi. He's sitting over here, he's got his donuts, big tines. And we've gotten through almost an entire box. But yeah, it's a MacBook Pro, uh, latest gen retina. Uh, for anybody that cares about tech, you probably can't read it, but that's all here. There's Colt. He just totally faded out into <laughs> darkness as I started filming him, like a prick. But I would, this is the 2.7, 16 gigs of RAM, and the 512 gig SSD, and we're just hauling ass over here. We're doing a, a file transfer of my Windows 7 VM through the adapter to fire it. Damn it! I touch it and it dies. Son of a bitch. I have 40, 141 gigabytes left, and that VM that I just screwed up transferring is uh, 120. No, not 120. It's 20. 20 gig VM, which is now located on the root of this drive. So tomorrow, I guess uh, Bobby and I are just going to hang out. We'll uh, we'll do some more filming with the 525 and the M5. Hopefully, get a video for E39 source up. Yeah, uh, that could be cool. So we're in the same place, which is awesome. And uh, the Mac Perfect. is here, which is awesome. And we've got the keys there, and my keys here. Look at them. Yep, they're the same kind. I like and that kind. Something else. Oh, the iPhones. The exact same iPhone and what used to be the same Max, because now we have this one. But let's see, let's see which wallpaper he's using. Actually, mine. Oh, that—that's the one Kenan sent you. Yes. Poser. All right, it's 2:43. We're going to bed. Good night.